Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today I've come on to play with some of my new toys so I hope someone will come and join me different time to usual so don't know what everybody's up to Whoa. Okay, so if you're, I see there are people starting to come in now, so if you are here, please say hello. Hi, Randy. I'm just, uh, I'm just playing tonight. I've been playing a bit, but not getting anywhere, so I thought maybe if I came on, it would focus my mind more. So how are you today Randy? Hi Judy and you come. So yesterday I showed my bits and pieces in my tree order and I was quite excited. Well I was a lot excited by it all but now I have it all. It's all I have too much and it's all a bit overwhelming. So later on tonight I'm actually just going to tidy it all the way and bring out one thing at a time. Hey Pauline, hi Cindy, hi. Hi Esther, well this is kind of a follow on from yesterday's live. Oh you had a bad storm Randy, that's not so good. Yeah, come away in and get all curried up then. Come and sit by my fire if that makes you feel safer and cosier. Um, Aircon if that's what you need. And now, here we go. So this is strange-ish so yesterday on my live on a piece of grid paper i demonstrated to you roughly how these sunflower masks work and then after my live i was on a stampin up zoom meeting um, with some other demonstrators and while I was sitting listening to people I just with a black bio pen I just started doodling and I was outlining all the pieces here and then of course I put in the funny faces as you do when you're doodling and then an hour or so after that Ruth from Artful Stamping with Ruth came on and she demonstrated um, reverse colouring ish her version of where she actually did a watercolory background using some stamps you need to go and look and see what she did last night it was really good it was really relaxing and as i said it wasn't unlike what i had been doing i.e doodling on something that i'd already done if you know what i mean um but Ruth was a bit more watercolory and pr probably a bit more artistic, I think. But anyway, that that's a side. So I thought, oh, that I would like to have a go at that. And then I was sitting today for a wee while, and I watched. I don't know if you watch Christine Stokes. She's not a Stampin' Up demonstrator, but she's an excellent um, card maker that I follow. Um, well, and crafter, I, I follow her, and she does lots of different techniques and she was using a stencil it had it was different to this it was a different brand and it had different leaves in it but she was doodling on them as well so I had a little play this afternoon and I'm not sure if I'm going anywhere but it's like and there is a bit of remembering watching you Esther do it when you used to do your drawing and and share that with us and, and I'd used to do a bit of Zen Tangle so it's like all these things Ruth Slide, Christine's um, video I can't find the particular video I watched and my own doodling and made me want to do it a bit more so in the stencils 
the abundant beauty stencils that I showed you that it had the sunflower stencils and then it's got snowflakes and it's got dog tooth hi Shaz in you come but it's got these glorious autumn leaves so was that a big enough story for you today so I actually just did used the colours that were actually in my brushes left from last night so but this time I think I'm going to do this again and obviously I'm going to protect this better and see it do something similar I know it's a bit of a Jack and Ori story isn't it but I, do you know it's not like I'm coming on and saying hey this is this great idea I've just had it's my idea it's not my idea hello my lovely Martina in you come and you come don't always see you in here or else you don't always admit you're here <laughs> anyway I'm so it's so lovely to have you here so I don't know what you think was it going was I going anywhere yeah we all inspire each other and I just wanted to play and I guess I just want to share with you guys too so I'm going to do something similar because I'm thinking that popping this at this angle then I can have a nice sentiment in there there are nice sentiments in the autumn leaves stamp set I'm not quite I have done a little quick play what do you think of that leaf I did stamp I've had a wee go at stamping and die cutting the sycamore leaves from this set well I say you some people say they're maple leaves or acer leaves I, I call them sycamore but and then I've used that dazzling paper to give them veins. So I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with that, but I just, do you know how you have to play before something comes together? So, because that wasn't really going anywhere fast, I thought, let's play with this. And I really like this sentiment, Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. So I'm kind of thinking that this, that would work like that. So, hi Claire, in you come. Right, I'm rambling. Do you want me to actually do something? So I love this. I wish I'd done it on card, but I'm going to, I'm going to stick that in a journal or something because I just adore it. Sometimes your doodles are better than your intentionals. Anyway. Okay, so pop that aside. So do you think I was going somewhere with my doodlies? Okay. You know, too busy talking to each other to talk to me. <laughs> I'm not here. Just ignore me. <laughs> I'm not here. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this all down and I'm going to protect that part. Yeah, it's just a bit of fun. And you know, there doesn't always have to be an end product. I keep telling you that, and then I keep making end products. Whoops, right. I do love autumn. I don't want it to come yet, though, because I don't feel I've had a summer. We had a heat wave and then we had a rain wave <laughs> and a cold and oh that's the end of that roll then. Hey Wendy, in you come my darling. Right, well we'll just do more doodles. It's just about having a bit of fun. I'll never know how to start this. Wendy, come and start this for me it's your fault I've got this this is heavy doodle paper tape it's great so that's quite um, fitting that I'm using heavy doodle tape on my doodling project I do like a wee doodle I've never worked out how it's meant to go through there but this is not going to leave my pad, is it? Might be overuse here, but... Yeah, 
Right, so that's the bit we've got to work on. Now, I don't know how much ink is still in these brushes because I never really clean them much. So I'm just going to put some little bits of pink in here because, you know, autumn does have a bit of pink in it. I think I've got the colours out here. I'll just see if I can put some on and then take it off again. I'm not going to have a lot of this, just a bit of berry burst. Because the berries burst in autumn anyway, don't they? So I'm sure there were more toadstools than that. Yeah. They're not toadstools. Acorns. Ah yeah, there's a wee one in there. I don't know why I want the pink near them. But just some little splodges and pink. And then I don't know what my palette's like. I've just pulled some colours. Right, so I've closed that pink because I probably don't need any more of that. This Happy Doodle um, tape is, paper tape is really good because it really doesn't stick or rip your projects. I think I might have too much ink on there. I'll just do a wee bit just to see. Yeah, there we go. So you know how in autumn the colours just all mingle? I love it. I love autumn colours. I just wish we could have autumn colours in summer weather. Is that possible? I think this roll might be that old that's not sticking very well. What else do I want in here? A bit of pecan. Pinks and the reds. Quite often, if I'm doing autumn leaves, I use cherry cobbler. I don't think that's always a nice. Put the ink on, take the ink off. Ink on, ink off. I think that bit's moving, but well, that's okay. Just add some interest. What we don't want is white. We don't want any white. And I did bring out some crushed curry. Crushed curry. Are y'all okay? You have a wee chat with each other because I'm concentrating here. You see that the wild tweet works really well in there. Just look, it's just. mixes well with these colours. Right, I'm just going to leave it at that. I think that's pretty enough. I just hope that I have protected my card. It doesn't have any nasty lines. So let's close the ink while the going's good. And then it's just doodle. Do, do, doodly do, waddly atchy, waddly atchy, doodly do, doodly do. Can you tell I was a girl girl? 
and all lots of silly songs. Unfortunately, because of my hearing, I don't, I'm not good at tunes. But I don't know that. I don't hear that. It's you that hears the tunelessness. I'm not going to take this off, but I'm going to take this bit of tape out of the way. I think that new roll that I've opened is so old, it's not doing its thing. Right. I'm just going to doodle. I'm using early espresso. I was using black earlier. I have also got the Stampin' Up chalk marker. I don't think we carry that anymore. I don't know. But I've got a Stampin' Right marker here. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Where's my bit that I was playing with? It's gone. Someone stole it. Here it is. Because I can't remember what I was doing. Once I start, I'll be all right. Right. Okay, now maybe the acorn will just outline its lid. And then we'll just give it these spots. I have no idea what I'm doing here, I'm just playing because it's relaxing. And I could give this one stripes across. By keeping the stencil on there, it keeps me sort of in the lines. I feel the need to, I want to outline everything. I don't know why, but I do. Hello, Cheryl, and you come. Budge up, everybody, and let Cheryl in. A wee twirly thing here. And because these are not too big, they're not too overwhelming. Just following the line round, just relaxing. I always wanted to give that eyes and a wee nose and a mouth, smiley face there. Totty one. I don't think it needs anything added other than an outline. I don't know what that is. Right. Oh, it looks like a face already. Better put some more spots on. Take that face away.
my. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing now. I've kind of lost my. Yeah, this could have striped pieces as well. There's a lot to get through because there's a lot of leaves here. Oh, Annika, I hope you're having a lovely holiday. You're in France. Is there not a song called Lost in France? Um, yeah, I think there is. You think you're being random, but I still end up making patterns. Well, one of the ones I did was doing the, the veins with just wee dots. Be too quiet then. Lovely, just yeah. I, I could do with some summer weather though. Right, so this one can have more twirlies, I think, and it is that similar. I know it's different. What will we do? Imaginations left the country today. It was going all right earlier on. Kids are going, ah, we could do that colouring better than that. Hi Lottie. Hi Aaliyah. I can't remember all the children's names. You'll need to prompt me, Wendy. I know I have kind of set myself a finicky job. <laughs> Just getting one spot on each leaf. Hey. I can't talk and do this at the same time. It certainly quietens me down. What else can you do other than dots and spots and stripes? Hi Lois. Yeah, I know I'm just playing, 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 playing. If you want to see where I got the inspiration for this, if you watch Artful Stampin' with Ruth video from last 
night and I've yet to f I watch Christine Stokes do something with a stencil um, sort of like this but she did dark colours and used her white ink which was very interesting um, which I might do with one of the other stencils Sort of looks like butterfly spots, don't they? Oh, done more than half of them anyway. Yeah, I, I've done Zentangle before, um, but the Zentangles I did were, were a bit more structured than what I'm doing. I can't find it either. I, do you know, I, I watched her video for today and then, I don't know, I, I just left it playing and this one came on. And a stupid, it wasn't until after I thought, oh, I need to have a go at that. That would work with our little leaf stencil. And then I can't find it, but I will. But I, you don't need to be artistic to doodle. Honestly. Yeah, Ruth has her flair. Of course she has, but don't let that put you off. Just be inspired by her and have a go. Just say, I can and I will. I missed my opportunity for a wee face there, didn't I? That would have been a good wee face. Yeah, you could just outline all of these. Don't have to do the extra doodly bits. Right, I've just got a few left to do. You'll see the leaves that I've only done the outline on when I'm finished, they're just as good as the others. You don't need to. I'm just doing something different each time. I'll outline this one anyway. Nearly finished. We'll get a card before the day's over. This is what happens, you just have to play and relax. This is not work. And it, you know, when you're sitting doing it, no one else can see it. Nobody can see what I'm doing. Just, there's just a few hundred people that come in and watch my videos um, 
I don't know if I do so just do dots. <laughs> At least with circles. You could be doing things like bigger circles on the dark areas and smaller circles on the light areas and things like that. You know. Get really artistic and clever. So that, that was the dark area there. So as we come into the lighter area, the circles can get smaller until they're just dots. Sure, it doesn't make that any difference, but it just amused me for a wee while. And bigger ones there. Because at the end of the day, crafting is to amuse you. Some of us are arrogant enough to think other people might want to watch. <laughs> That's like a, a wild animal leaf. You haven't read? Oh, hi, Heather, in you come. Yeah, I just stenciled this and now I'm just doodling with the stencil still over. So I just brushed a bit, just some colours, that's all. And I'm making mistakes and it's, you know, it's all right. That's okay. So what's everybody up to? Have you all had your dinner? Well, in the UK, I've no, not even fixed anything. I've no idea what it's going to be today. kind of, I do do when I'm in meetings. Especially when I'm in a meeting and I'm determined I'm going to keep my gob shut. <laughs> because I'm not known for that sometimes. I'm a little opinionated. Sometimes I say, right, keep yourself busy and then you won't say anything and you won't offend anyone, but so the more annoyed I get with them, what I'm hearing, the fiercer I doodle. Now, as I don't have to go to those types of meetings anymore, that's not happening. Right, do you think I've doodled enough? What do you think? Will we just stop there? Right, let's see what we've got. Might not like it. That's because that was the, the bit that was, I told you it didn't tear the paper, but that's because that was the glue bit. What do you 
do you think? What do you think? It's all right, isn't it? It's all right. Right, um, I need, I need a card, please. I'm looking for um, some early espresso for, for a layer. I'm trying to go to my scrap box. Because my strap, scraps are in danger of taking over the house. what that layer right that was right so if we I'm going to take this down a bit and I've got I, I don't quite like that edge because some of the bits from the stencil were very very small there in fact I love this wild feet so I'm going to annoy the wild feet haters and make this a good bit smaller inside I don't think, I don't think that's straight, that's not, is that, yeah that is, so it needs to go to 9.1, but that's the danger when you bring scraps and you're not always got, there's something, This end's not straight. <laughs> it's like, okay. Something's not right here. But the good old stamping up trimmer. Yeah, wild feet's a new pink. It's just me because everyone don't like it, I'm going. There's nothing wrong with it. I like it. I like to befriend the underdog. So I've decided to be a friend of Wild Feet. I'm not sure that this piece of early espresso has got any right angles at all. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be there. It's not, has it? I'm going to put that in the chopper. I'm going to bring in the chopper. It doesn't take much to... I was OCD or something. I certainly am not, but I'm not right either. I'd be better get another piece, window. Right, let's go in now. Right, so. 
slippers right then i need my trimmer and my card base let's stop chaffing about take care Inika. enjoy your holiday and enjoy your time with your family Pour it in half, cut it in half, okay so now the decision will be will it go that way or that way, that was the way I intended it so let's just see. Folder. That was what I intended, so we'll just use that really nice sentiment. I do like early espresso is a colour I like too and it goes really well with my feet. I keep falling off my seat but part of the reason for that is I've got so much stuff under my desk that needs pulled out. I can't really get my legs under it properly. <laughs> can't be good for you women. Now this is unusual for me because when I start using autumn colours, I generally go for very vanilla to stamp on, but there we go, fingerprints. Oh, that's lovely, look at the script on that. That is just beautiful. I will, if I get, if I can find Christine's video, you know, if not, I'll maybe try and message her and ask her if she can give me the link so I could share it with you so that you can see where I'm coming from. She did like dark greys and she used a white pen and like markings and dots and things so it was different but my favourite is Night of Navy but I just I, I like early espresso as well but it's a different colour group you know Night of Navy is always my best colour but to be honest Stampin' Up produce such a fantastic colour range I do like most of them. Struggle a little with Calypso Coral and Cajun Craze. But if you use them with the right colours, they work. And Cajun Craze will come out because I do use Cajun Craze a fair bit in autumn time. And I always promise that I'm going to use it during the year and then I'll put it away and I'll bring it out again in autumn. I get the night of navy pun. <laughs> That's nice. 
Oh, but I do see it by sale. And you know, I need to do one like this as well, don't I? Cool. Just get the back piece of card from my new B and James storage drawer where I keep my cut layers now. This makes me happy. <laughs> Need to make a wedding card, but it needs to be burgundy and cream. As burgundy does um, Blackberry Bliss work for that. But Blackberry Bliss and Berry Vanilla work nice together. And you could you could do it mostly just Berry Vanilla and, uh, uh, you know, like instead of white on white, vanilla on vanilla and just a little pop of Blackberry Bliss. No? Me? Just thinking out loud for you, Wendy. But you're very creative, you will come up with something. I got to use this bit, didn't I? I just pop it on like that too. made a card so inspired by my sunflowers artful stamping with Ruth and Christine Stokes and I got this <laughs> so what do you think folks is this something you might try I don't even know what time it is. I don't know. These are going to be used. I've got, I've got, I had embossing paste problems, but I don't anymore. I've got a new one. I've got one of the shimmer ones as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to, I'm thinking of getting a canvas and doing myself a nice sunflower picture. What do you think? With them. Um, sort of make it a bit multimedia um, I don't know if we've got time to quickly try this in darker in, in darker colours or not the yeah, stencil one is just a bit of fun I'm not going to do doodling this one I'm just going to quickly wait this the stencil I can't do it because I don't know where to put the stencil and I want to find it but that won't matter right just this is not going to be a card because we don't have that much time I don't think it is I'm thinking about how it would look with darker colour. This is just a quick... Right, where did I put the brushes? So if, instead of cleaning, you know, where I did, took most of the colour off, let's... Right, where's the, right, the wild wheat brush? You're okay there, I'll do a bit more. 
it's actually you know using your brushes on some of these pads that are a bit too inky um, is quite good so I'm going to be a bit he more heavy handed and just do blobs of colour Tape was supposed to hold it down. Who loves a bit of granny apple green? You just want me to keep going because I didn't get messy enough the first time, did I? I love all these colours. I'm just, I can't, I can't help it. Just love them all. So this has a completely different look. I mean, you could do it in stripes or you could do all the same colour, but you know, a bit of this. Yeah, this is cool. My desk is closing in on me, girls. Do other people have that issue sometimes? I missed any bits. So then what Christine did, although I think she had a finer pen than me, well, I do have gel pens but I can't, they're none of them. Oh look at that. You were all waiting for that weren't you? my chalk pen. I don't, I don't know if this pencil would. I don't think I'm dark enough for that. Yeah, see the chalk pen. She did things just like I sort of like Abbott that makes me think of Aboriginal painting, doesn't it? That um For example, I'm, 
I'm just giving you a wee idea. I don't know about doing it like that. Look at the tinge of red just on the edge of those leaves, oh. Just to give you a wee idea of some of the things she did. This was Christine's. I'm just going to leave it at that. I've added a bit, but I don't want to do it all over. But, you know, I'm just giving you a wee, a wee idea. Yeah, the white watercolour pencil doesn't... It doesn't show up as well on... It does. It's there, but... I think because these are not as rich, Ruth used white watercolour pencil last night, but she had really, really rich colours, well linked. Oh, look, I've got a bit messy there, but that's all right, isn't it? Something pretty. So you can still, if you, when, I think I'll, I don't know, I'll chop that down there a bit, let's see. Give me time for a quick, a quick card, can I make a card with this, do you think? Probably could make two cards. See, I'm thinking now, see that bit there, what's that? If I go seven there. How this is pretty, yeah, roughly half there. Now because that one, because I've got in a bit of a mess there, what if I took I'm just thinking, just, just to disguise this messy bit, make it look like it's meant to be, I'm just lightly because I think my, my crumb cake's needing re-inked. It would. Hey, you might do that on that one then. See, that's why I invite you guys in because you're full of good ideas. That's a really good idea that you've just given me. Martina, there was a reason for you to be here tonight. You obviously just knew that you were called, that I would need your help. So, so I've toned that one down a bit and I'm going to brighten this one up a bit. How's about that? You are a genius. Right, that's to see if I can find everything that I need for. Versi mark is that the clean? Yep, that one's cleanish and not white, not silver. Come on, there's the clear. Keep the stick clear. Go 
all these different white powders in my drawer. Oh, don't tell everybody that one. Okay. <laughs> okay, silly me. What I got? Anyone seen my silver lick on Max? I thought that would be a good idea. Yeah. So we don't need to um we don't need a bus buddy because I'm going to ink up the whole of this. Oh I recently re-inked that and I haven't worked it in a while in this particular project, that's good. I think I might have another top of this anyway. Exciting. Now I need the fairies to come and clean up. Right, heat tool going on. Cover your ears. But don't close your eyes because this will be lovely. What do you think of that, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you, Martina, for that great idea. That is superb. I just let that dry. Oh. Oh, my history. Okay, Esther, I'm, I'll have a look. Yeah, I might. I'm not quite sure. I actually think I need to get my heat tool. I will have a look. Because you will really like what Justin does. I wish I had liked her video and then it would show up in my light. Wow, look at the difference. And yet they were stenciled at the same time together. Isn't that incredible? Right, I'm going to see if I've got a scrap of Berry Burst. 
Right, did I get... Berry Burst is a... Bright purging me now, isn't it? I oh, know it's not a scrap, but because this is colour come back. Right, so what did I cut that with? Two set, right, so. Sorry, I went quiet because my brain was ticking. That was just cool. I think that's better on a white card. And then this one. What have I got? A bit of granny apple cream or crumb cake. Using up the scraps again. That's not wide enough, is it? Keep that bit for later. Oh well, it's just fallen on the floor. Well, look at that. Right, so I need a white card card base and a crumb cake card base. What have I got in my wee bag? We're in luck, we're in luck. We have a white card base and we have Okay, so who, which kind person is going to come and clean up? Because this is a mess in here. I'm loving this. Thank you, Martina, for this idea. You're a genius. So you are. I think this is just about a habit. Ah, that's a good idea. Two, Martina. Get 
get some of this glue grips. I'm loving this. This will not be the last time I do this. I actually saw someone do this, a uh, clear embossing on a card the other day. One of the American demonstrators stamped with this fragrant forest and then she um, embossed over it clear embossed over it, it's stunning. And that's good. No. Just when you think that a bottle is empty and then it gives you this last wee oh no it's still got more here. Give me some. I'll put that one upside down over here. I've got one that's working here as well. I'm not sure. I think I'll leave that spawn mint out of sentiment at the moment. I think it's all right about there. Have you all fallen asleep? I don't know which way up. I think this way works in my head. Tidy the card is a bit the fold is not straight. Oh Glenna, you've just catched You've just catched us. That's really strange. It, that is really strange that you should walk in right now. Because I'm just making these cards up and I'm thinking we're going to be in trouble with Glenn because we haven't got any dotage on these cards. But we could sort that. I 
we've been stenciling tonight. Okay, I've lost. How can you do that? Well, there it is. Alrighty. So, here's the story again. The Jack and Ori. So, yesterday, during my live, I did that and then during my meeting, which wasn't boring, I was just concentrating, I doodled on that. And then Ruth came on and she did her reverse colouring, so go look at Ruth's. And when I find Christine Stokes' video, I will share that with you, because that all led me to do this with the stencils, the autumn, what are they called? Because they're buried under here somewhere. Goodness, I can't find a pack. But you can the new auto the new stencils anyway from the new mini catalogue. And then I did did it again with deeper colours and I had splodged a bit here with the brown so I brought my brush in and used with the crumb cake and kind of disguise that and then a brilliant genius idea from Martina was to clear emboss on this one with a white background and it really has made the colours way more vibrant so thank you thank you everyone for coming in and sharing my playtime <laughs> tonight I'm happy that we've actually got some serviceable cards because all day I've just pluttered and really not come up with anything. So now I'm going to eat and then I'm going to get some food. So just bear with me. Come and say hello. I'm sorry you just caught the tail end, Glenna. But um, hopefully we'll meet again soon on someone's live. Yeah, you will enjoy the replay. The stencils are fabulous. Pardon me. So thank you, everyone. Please let me know which of the cards you prefer. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. If you're watching this on the replay, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please press the bell icon so you get to know when I'm coming on again. And if anyone can find Christine Stroke's video where she did this sort of doodling after some stenciling, um, do let me know. Okay, bye!